It's one Isaac Barry from Barry Talent Slap, and today we're going to be talking about, as you can see in the background, Apollo 11. Apollo 11, I believe, was a great uh, work. It took a lot of time, a lot of wholeheartedness, and a lot of money to do it. And the budget was very high. Uh, it almost put some people in debt, and it, it was an endeavor we had to break through to uh, win the space race. And I proudly believe that Apollo 11 is something that should be discussed and thought of for generations and generations. Thank you, and today, now we will move on to the lecture. March 1964. And the team of uh, uh, Apollo 11, uh, who are soon to be first men on the moon, are studying rocks in the red fine baked valley named the Grand Canyon. It's searing hot and uh, they start sweating. Uh, however, they keep smiling as the silica dust blows over their sunglasses. As they examine and chisel the rocks out from the giant canyon, and they start smiling and they start uh, joke with each other. They were uh, happy and uh, delightful, even um, with the grim nature of space. January 1965. It's almost one year later. And in an island on Hawaii, the, the team was studying uh, the terrain uh, of Mount of Hawaii, which is very similar to the Sea of Tranquility, the piece of the moon they'd be landing of, uh, which was actually a sea of basalt lava. Not very tranquil, is it? Anyways. Now, we're one month later, and uh, they are walking in the Nevada nuclear bomb test site and getting a feel of the rocky uh, view there, uh, the terrain there. And, and they were hardly noted, and this is soon to be another uh, maintenance worker. That, and then, in February, October 1967, uh, they used t uh, explosives and dynamite to uh, blow up a desert and recreate the Sea of Tranquility, uh, how, uh, which image was projected by a satellite uh, up in the sky. Then, February 1969, they are studying volcanic rocks uh, in Sierra Blanca, Texas. And on 4.15 a.m., July 16, 1969, they were woken up and uh, got a big breakfast. 6.27, July 16, 1969, they started to suit up, and soon they were ready to launch. The launch control's final words were, Good luck and Godspeed. Now, uh, Today, we're only going to be discussing that part of the story, and tomorrow, we'll look at the tra their transmission on the moon. But, mm, it's a great story to hear how Apollo 11 w uh, uh, landed on the moon and uh, be beat the race. And those few steps they took on the moon, those few one or two hours, were all dependent on the hundreds of people who had sacrificed their lives and theorized and dreamed of having this kind of thing. And suddenly they had done it. Oh, of course, with the help of one wrong. Anyways... This is a great story to think about the successes of America. And uh, thank you everybody for watching, and bye!